Here are five common myths about genital herpes. Myth number one, if you don't have blisters, you're not contagious. False, you're definitely more at risk of spreading the infection if you're having an outbreak of blisters, but it's still possible to infect your partner even if you don't have any visible sores. Herpes is a sneaky disease. It can lay dormant, like it's asleep, for a long time between outbreaks. But once you have herpes, you have it for life. So it's always there, even if you can't see it. Myth number two, genital herpes causes infertility. False, genital herpes does not cause infertility. You can still get pregnant and have a healthy baby, even if you have genital herpes. But it can reduce fertility in some ways. You shouldn't have unprotected sex when you have an outbreak. And research has shown that people assigned male at birth who have herpes may have a lower sperm count. So although genital herpes itself doesn't cause infertility, it can sometimes make getting pregnant a little more challenging. Myth number three, cold sores are different than genital herpes. False. Cold sores, those little blisters that pop up on your lips, often at the most inopportune times, actually are caused by the herpes simplex virus, the same virus that causes genital herpes. But since they appear on your lips and not your genitals, cold sores are called oral herpes. If you have a cold sore and perform oral sex though, you could infect your partner's genitals with herpes. And it works the other way around too. If you perform oral sex on someone with genital herpes and don't know it, you could get oral herpes on your mouth or lips. Myth number four, condoms are 100% effective in preventing genital herpes. False. Practicing safe sex by using a condom definitely helps reduce the risk of spreading genital herpes. But remember, a condom only protects what it covers and where it goes. So unprotected areas like the scrotum, buttocks, and inner thighs can become infected, even if the penis, labia, or vagina don't. Myth number five, genital herpes will transfer to a baby during birth. This is a not always, if you have herpes, it's very important to tell your OBGYN as soon as you become pregnant so they can keep a close eye on you throughout your pregnancy. If you're not having an outbreak at the time of delivery, it's pretty safe to have a vaginal birth. But if you have active herpes blisters, your provider will probably recommend a cesarean section instead. They may also give you antiviral medications. But beyond all these myths, one of the biggest ones is that genital herpes is something to be ashamed of. It's absolutely not. Anyone who has sex runs the risk of getting genital herpes, and many people do. The important thing is to know what you're dealing with and to understand what's fact and what's fiction. If you think you might have genital herpes, call your healthcare provider right away so you can get started on treatment as soon as possible.